धूप में कब छाओ बन कर लहरों में कभी नाओ बन कर धूप में कभी छाओ बन कर लहरों में कभी नाओ बन कर लड़खड़ाए कदम थामा है हाथ जब लड़खड़ाए कदम थामा है हाथ मेरे बाबा है साथ मेरे बाबा है साथ मेरे बाबा है साथ मेरे बाबा है साथ मेरे बाबा मेरे बाबा है साथ मेरे बाबा है साथ जब भी छाने लगे ये अंधेरा मेरे संग संग चले जो सवेरा जब भी छाने लगे ये अंधेरा मेरे संग संग चले जो सवेरा हर लम्हा दीप बन के जले जन्नत बने हयात मेरे बाबा है साथ 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 मेरे Om Shanti. Today we continue with the Murli dated seventeenth October two thousand three. Before we start. Let's take a few moments to get ourselves centered. To give undivided attention to the words of wisdom. That Baba is having reach out to us in this part of the world. Baba says, "I have come here and I have held your hand." Make sure that you keep on holding my hand and as well, that you don't leave and go. In this part of the Murli, Baba's pointing out to us about maintaining our stability and be in the seat of self-respect. Baba is also talking about that a lot of things shall happen now. 
we would see scenes of upheaval. We have seen from the space of attachments, it may shake you, it may disturb you. But whatever happens, keep holding my hand. and practice being in soul consciousness, not to be attached by what's happening around you. See it as if you're watching a cartoon show. To start with, the rest of the Murli. <clears throat> this is the first turn of the season. And so since you have taken the first turn, you also have to give the number one return. You will have to give that, will you not? And Double foreigners have had the speciality from birth. Whatever they do, they will do that wholeheartedly. They won't do it half-heartedly. They do that very firmly with determination. They don't dangle in between yes and no. So, you have to give a return, do you not? That is all. In the season, and today is the first chance of the season, Bab Dada wants that throughout the whole year, even though the season is only six months, throughout the whole year, whenever you meet anyone, whomsoever you meet, whether it is amongst yourselves or with other souls. Whenever you meet, whomsoever you meet, give them the cooperation of contentment. So the practice and homework for today, from today is whether the people you know, the people you don't know, practice giving them cooperation of contentment. You yourself remain content and make others content. The self-respect of this season is jewel of contentment. Always a jewel of contentment. The self-respect of this season is jewel of contentment. A brother is also a jewel. In Hindi, called money. And it's a feminine tense. And even if, whether it's a brother or a sister, I was saying refer to them as manis, not mana. Mana is a masculine tense, but not as mana. Even brothers are called money. Each and every soul is a jewel of contentment at every moment. If you yourself are content, you will also make others content. So there is a saying in Hindi, Jo sagar mein hota hai, wohi gagar mein aata hai. So you can only give something that you've got. And if you've got to give out contentment, what is required is you being content. Remain content and make others content. Baba's asking, is this okay? Do you like this? Baba's asking the Kumaris, do you Kumaris like this? Those who like this and will do it, not those who simply like to hear it, but those who like to do this. All of you, raise your hands. Seeing all the hands, you have pleased Bab Dada's heart. 
where I was appreciating and congratulating. No matter what happens, remain stable on your seat of self-respect. Don't wander around. Sometimes on one seat, sometimes on another seat. No, remain stable on your seat of self-respect. When you're seated on your seat of self-respect, if anything happens, then look at it as though you're watching a cartoon show. I was asking, you like watching cartoons, do you not? <clears throat> so the problem is not then a problem, but it is a cartoon show that is being performed. A lion comes, a sheep comes, a scorpion comes, a dirty lizard comes. It is a cartoon show. Don't get, become upset whilst on your seat. You will then enjoy it. Even if a lion comes, a dog comes or a cat comes, let it come. Just continue to watch them. This is where Baba is telling us that whatever is happening in front of you, whatever has already happened just a moment ago, <clears throat> consider that trauma. Be stable in your seat of self-respect and take control and charge of that situation and create the next moment. And you will be able to create it. Why? Because you have the sustenance of the Supreme Father. Bab Dada has told you that if you remain seated on your seat of self-respect, you won't become distressed. It is when you don't keep the honor, that is, you don't be in your shan of your self-respect, it is that then, then when you become distressed and you're not in the seat of self-respect, you're not in your shan, you become parishan. It may be a small paper tiger that comes. I was talking about some small challenge that may be coming and yet you become distressed. So this year, remain stable and remain seated on your seat of self-respect. Don't say, I know this, I've heard it, but no reasons. No. It is fine that you've heard about it and you know. But you yourself have to accept it and sit, seat, sit on that seat with that stability. You don't have, you don't move along believing yourself to be that. You simply know it and listen to it. So Baba's pointing out, don't just come from the knowledge of it. Be that. Sit on the seat and become an embodiment of that. Do you understand? Babdada received the news that this is a group of Kumaris. There are four groups present here. One group is the computer group, that is the IT group. Second group is a management group. The third one is a health group. Baba received news of all four groups. It is good. However, whilst using your computers, you can sit on your seat at the computer, but don't get off your seat of self-respect. Sit on a double seat. Don't just sit on the seat at the computer. Then double service will take place. 
you can do a lot of service. Those from the health group can also do a lot of service. Baba was shown a book that has been written. And the book is Values in Healthcare, the Janki Foundation. And there are workshops that are conducted even today uh, on values in healthcare. It is known as Vipasa, Values in Healthcare, a Spiritual Approach. And Baba has made us instruments as facilitators to conduct those programs. We have Rakhi Ben is there, Apurva Ben is there, Reshmi Ben, myself. We are all facilitators to conduct these programs. Baba heard all the news. Who wrote the book? Baba is asking. It has been made very well. However, together with health, self-respect first. Never get off the seat of self-respect. Not that you sometimes sit on, a, on one seat and sometimes on another. No. Remain seated on the seat of the awareness of your elevated form. Don't get off your seat. The promise that you Kumaris have made is also very good. Babdada is now congratulating you for the promise you made. However, the, with which congratulation should you receive? Those of putting the promise into a practical form. Dharana ko dharan karna. The congratulation is for that. So today, Babdada is simply congratulating you for the promise you have made. Later, he will congratulate you for the practical result. For actually working on the promise that you've made. These are the congratulations you have to receive. Baba can see very good ones sitting here. The Kumaris are very good Kumaris who have self-respect. The Baba is addressing to this group, self brothers and sisters who are there, who have been in the knowledge for, for 10 years or more and are sitting here. This is also a big wonder. You have been immortal for 10 years. So, a blessing for remaining immortal from the Lord of Immortality. Those who have been in Gyan for 10 years or more, Raise your hands. Uncle and auntie have been here for many years. Baba is referring to these couple souls. So Babdada is garlanding those who have been here for 10 years with the garland of nine jewels. The nine jewels are for making you free from obstacles. Always maintain the awareness of the eight powers and the Father. It is good. Whilst living abroad, you have now completed ten years and so you have become immortal. Or do you think, I don't know what is going to happen in the future? Acha, those of you who raised your hand for having been there for for 10 years, do you also have faith in your future? Or do you think, I don't know whether I will be able to continue or not? Those who feel that they will remain with Baba till the end, who have to remain immortal no matter what happens, even if a mountain as high as the Himalayas fall, and it will fall, are you firm about this? That you're going to be with Bhaktada till the end? Very good. Acha, did those from India raise their hands? Is it that those from India think we are strong anyway? 
this is not only for those who have been here for 10 years, but this is for everyone who have to have the faith that no matter what happens, we will stay together, we will go home together, and we will come into the kingdom together. Is this firm? You will stay together, will you not? Don't leave the father alone and go away. He will not like it by himself. You won't like being alone and the father won't like it either. Therefore, don't leave him. Whenever anything happens, just say from your heart, Baba, my Baba. And Baba will become present. He will solve your problem. Say from your heart, Baba, this is the situation. Baba, do this. Baba, it is like this. The father is bound to do it. However, it has to come from your heart. It doesn't have to be manipulation or any kind of a gratification. It doesn't have to be, there, there doesn't need to be two minds about it, that okay, whenever you want to, you are in a distress, you call Baba, and the rest of the times you don't think about it or you, you don't believe. It has to come from your heart. It shouldn't be that you remember him at your own convenience and then forget him. So, all you double, for, double foreigners are happy to see your fortune. You've received the first chance and you have received a special chance. So, you will fulfill what the, what the father has just said throughout the whole season, will you not? Don't become those who think about it, but be those who fulfill it. Since you have said mine, you said my Baba, and Baba also said my child, a firm deal has been made. Daddies, are you all okay? You are happy to see the children from abroad, are you not? You're very happy. Daddy feels a lot of enthusiasm. If it could be made possible, Daddy would make everyone sit here, all the double foreigners. Are all of you ready for that? Or would you think, what will happen about Diamond Hall in London? No, all are ever ready. If Bab Dada were to order, Come, don't think about anything of service or of your center or companions. Just come. Then, would you come? And everyone said, Haji. That is good. That day will also come when Baba gives you that order because he has love for you. So, you will not go back separately. You will return together. Those who are strong will remain. So, all of you are free from obstacles. Or, are there some obstacles in a corner? There aren't any, are there? Are there any obstacles inside? Are there some small obstacles? There aren't any, are there? Are all of you free from obstacles? Today, leave all of them behind here. There are no obstacles. The word obstacles should be out of the dictionary of the Brahmin souls. Whatever is there, what Baba calls is, is a paper, is a test. And you've got to see it through. So no obstacles. Amiben, can you unmute? Uh, can you mute? There is a, someone who's unmuted. 
Uh, Rocky, when if you can do it, please. Sorry. It's done. Today, yeah. Today, leave all of them behind there. This is Om Shanti Bhavan. And so they will become Om Shanti. What do you have to do? A thorn has to be removed immediately, does it not? If you don't remove a thorn quickly, you may have to have your leg cut off. So Baba is giving this analogy that when small obstacle comes, when you relate to it as an obstacle and you don't deal with it, then it might become a bigger issue. But when you see it only as a challenge and operate from non-attachment, you'll be able to see it through. Therefore, end the obstacles. Let your original sanskars emerge. Acha, all the groups are fine. Now Baba is asking all the groups to raise their hands group-wise. The four groups that Baba was talking about, Kumari group, raise your hands. Computer group is sitting at the back. Then the health group, then the management group. It is good. The news of all the four groups is good. Acha. The letters are also placed just in front on the sides and behind Baba. Letters and cards have come from everywhere. Letters from the heart have come and letters and paper have also come. And both of these have reached Bab Dada. Children send love from their heart to Bab Dada. And to get, together with that, some children send very good news of their service. Some children, together with their remembrance, also still make a few complaints and requests. Baba, do this, do this. However, that is good. If you write, then those who write to Baba receive cooperation. Even now, children everywhere are listening and some are even seeing, but many are listening. You are sitting in this hall and they are sitting in a hall in their countries. All these facilities of science have been invented for you Brahmins. You use them for the task of establishment and others use these for destruction. However, Babdada is congratulating scientists' children because they have made good inventions for the children to be able to see and hear even while sitting at a distance. Acha, look at this modli that is happening right now. All of us, the 19 of us connected on the Zoom session is an outcome of an invention of science then the recording, then that getting posted on WhatsApp and on YouTube, and then people able to see that. Acha, <clears throat> to all the specially beloved royal, royal children, to all the loving, cooperative children who are becoming equal, To the children who make their elevated feelings for the self and their sanskars emerge in their form. To the children who always give happiness and love to everyone. To those who become jewels of contentment and always praise rays of contentment. Bab Dada's love, remembrance, and namaste. And for us children, love, remembrance, and namaste to our beloved, sweet Bab Dada. Baba's addressing to Dadiji. You become very healthy. It is not a big deal. You will even get better. 
You yourself are an embodiment who gives blessings and this is why the blessings begin to work quickly. Everyone has a lot of love for you. Everyone has love for you because the Father has made you an instrument. The Father himself became a Vyak. But he made you an instrument in the corporeal form. Dadi ji kissed Pap Dada's hand and Dadi Janki commented that Dadi ji has become fashionable. The Baba says, why not? In the golden age, they will be so fashionable. And Baba is addressing to Gange Dadi ji, who is from Kanpur. The gathering of Maharathis look beautiful. Now, all the Maharathis are gathered together. Even Bab Dada likes it very much. Baba is acknowledging Rukmani Dadi that you are creating a very good present and future. And Baba is addressing the senior sisters from abroad. All of you are engaged in a very good service. Bab Dada is also pleased that there is growth and you are moving along in the right way. There is the method and there is also growth. Very good programs are taking place everywhere. You continue to meet amongst yourselves and make plans for spreading the word in the world. We are making plans for serving through computers. There are computers in every corner that takes less time and spreads everywhere. Kumaris are also very good. Very good plans have been made. Bab Dada is pleased. You have made all types of plans. Health is included, computers is included, and the courses are also included. Speaking to the senior brothers from abroad, Baba is appreciating them. The Pandava army is no, no less. Shaktis are Shaktis and Pandavas are equal to God. The father of the Pandavas is always with the Pandavas. Look, each one has its own speciality. Bab Dada is seeing the speciality of each one and each one is playing their, his part with his speciality very well. It is like that, is it not? Uncle from Guyana is playing his part well. Robin from Australia is playing his part. Bhai from London and Nazar Bhai from Nairobi are playing their parts. You, you have all played a very good part. Very good Pandavas and also Shaktis have emerged. Bab Dada is very pleased that a very good group of double foreigners has been prepared for service. All of you have enthusiasm for service. You have enthusiasm, do you not? Uncle is the foundation. They are very good. May you also remain immortal. May you be immortal in remembrance and service. Acha, as from today, stop asking questions. Are you conquerors of Maya or will you still ask questions? You've become conquerors of Maya, have you not? Now, no one should ask anyone else. Have you become a conqueror of Maya? It isn't that you're this, but you're flying very high in the intoxication of being a conqueror of Maya. You are those with a flying stage. If anyone asks you, just say, you're angels with a happy heart. Don't even mention the name of Maya. Baba's made it so simple. Who are you? Who am I? We are angels with a happy heart. 
and we don't even have to mention the name of Maya. Finish it even with its name because you definitely have to practice being a conqueror of Maya for some time. Those who remain a conqueror of Maya for a long time receive their fortune of the kingdom for a long time. This is why you are always conquerors of Maya. You are those who have conquered Maya. Bab Dada's vision is on you. The gathering has to go beyond through his vision. Acha. Om Shanti. Let's take a few moments to reflect on this part of the Murli. And then we come back to share. Om Shanti, whoever wishes to share, can share now. Om Shanti, brother. Thank you, Baba. Very nicely uh, explained and also with a lot of practical examples in this Muldi, especially like the one with the cartoon show. And I think it's so important uh, when we talk about contentment and self-respect to be stable in our own stage that we look at everyone around us like a cartoon show, including our own role. So you can laugh it off. You can remain happy. An angel of happiness is what he said. You see yourself and the others as a beautiful soul. And then any obstacle doesn't seem like an obstacle. Like he gave that nice example, the thorn is there, remove it immediately, otherwise you have to cut your leg. So I really like these practical examples and it's definitely going to stay in my heart. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Baba. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Am I audible? Yes. In this Murli, Baba said, Whenever anything happens, just say from your hearts, Baba. My Baba. Baba will become present. He will solve your problem. And Baba said, not in, not in, in any situation. Just like problem or the distress, don't remember me. Always remember any situations. Om Shanti. Thank <laughs> you. 
the eight powers that Baba is talking about. Is the power to accommodate, power to tolerate, power to back up, power to face, power to discriminate, power to judge, power to cooperate, and power to withdraw. And uh, that was also spoken about the Noratans. The people, we can find some content on that, which uh, we may look at forwarding you in case you were you were asking. Yes, brother. Yeah. Because yeah. I have read this in some other scriptures also, and I was just curious that is it the same nine jewels? Which are these nine? Yeah. All right. Talking about Jewel, I would, if I may just add, I really liked it when he tells uh, Dadi Ji, you'll also be fashionable in Satyug. Yeah. And the Jewel is not just for the female, it's also for the male. Yeah. And this question I had asked earlier also. Uh, maybe in this Murli or in the Sakar Murli session, that mm -hmm. <clears throat> in the Satyug images, they always show the people are so happy, and but they are also very well dressed with yeah, uh, yeah. lots of good attire and good jewelry, etc. Yeah, and yeah. which also to me is very symbolic of being the lotus. Like you mm -hmm. can be amidst all the f refinery and the material wealth and yet be so pure from inside. And uh, that's the way I relate to it. But if anybody else would like to share a different context. So you don't really need to discard. Uh, if you've overcome attachment, if you've overcome maya in that true form, clothes and all that, you wear it dispassionately, like how you're watching a cartoon show. You enjoy it, but without being attached to it. So that's the way I look at it. But if anybody else has a different view. Thank Om you. Shanti, brother, can I share my understanding? Sure. Yeah. So very nicely churned, sister. Beautifully, Murli. And uh, uh, you were saying about these dresses and all. Yes, indeed. Uh, it shows, reflects the uh, completeness of the soul. Soul is full of that richness. And that's being reflected in the dresses, in the royalty, the way we walk. And so much of heavy jewelry, you must realize, you churned it so beautifully. We're wearing so much, we are loaded with so much of jewelries from top to down, such heavy uh, dresses we are wearing. But in spite of that, we are feeling so light. We are decorated, yet we are so detached. So yes, it is the completeness of the soul that is being reflected in uh, Satyuga. And the way we, we wear the, all the dresses, jewelries, but in spite of that, we remain light because that uh, decoration is the completeness of the soul that's reflected. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. So the way I would look at it is, uh, my perception about it is that, that along with what you all said, is that the lightness, the grace, the royalty, uh, the completeness that was there, uh, at the, that is there in Satyug, that is to just to express that completeness, uh, that royalty. The fashion now is more to impress. It is to cover up for what you're not. It is to seek appreciation from others. The fashionable, when, when people are becoming fashionable, they're more thinking about people are going to praise me. And uh, that is where the difference is, is what I would see. Yes, brother, that's a very important point you've made. But even in today's life, if we can do our normal work activities and 
okay you wear your clothes and you do you know you go in a car or whatever but you don't be attached to it you just yeah. take it as a tool that's what we need to do the exercise for actually to overcome that attachment and yet be very pure and god has given us beautiful things to enjoy but you enjoy it with dispassion watch it like a cartoon show yeah i really love that thank you brother yeah one small addition to every uh, beautiful churning done here in satyuga we we are if we observe it minutely we are you know covered each and every portion of our body organ full sleeves and everything is covered including stomach and everything here in iron age what we are doing less we are wearing we are trying to show off there uh, completeness of the soul and we cover everything and that's a beauty you know that i felt the difference if we see the satyuga costumes they are all covered our body is fully covered with all the dresses materials and the jewelry is also so that's there we don't have to show off in you know showing off any organ there it's all completeness and so beautiful so divine there om shanti so one one of uh... the talks that i was having with the sister at the center and uh, we were speaking about white why there is emphasis on white and i got a, i got a very good angle to it from the sister said so that anyways uh, the confluence age is a very short period and baba keeps on mentioning in the murli that there is one the confluence age is very short and now we are we are towards the end of the end the time is even getting shorter so we don't want to waste time in picking and choosing the colors uh, so if you're wearing a white you straight away pick up anything that is white so even that much of time when it goes so that your mind remains displaced but like gets displaced or gets occupied into that is also maya so baba in murli is also he's mentioned that he's never been against he, he never says that don't wear colors you wear colors but don't be attached to that that oh today i want to wear <clears throat> this color what should i do i am confused will this look nice with this no then that is maya and the reason why baba says uh, why why we are practicing uh, wearing white is you not wasting time and not getting your state disturbed by making choices of colors so when uh, yeah you can have a control and command over there you can yet have wearing your you can continue wearing your colors there's no problem about that but what anshuben points pointed out is that it has to be graceful very nice observation that you made, made that the fashion earlier was that they were completely covered but now the skimpiness or the loudness that is there is more to seek people's attention you are wearing it not to, to to impress other people but just because you like it but that also with dignity thank you sister for bringing it up and just one more point to add like sister anshu very nicely said when you wear the kind of clothes you do today to attract attention is one part and also to divert people's attention to body consciousness is you're not helping then that's not a service in fact it is your soul that should be radiating the love that attracts people to you so anything that moves you more towards the body side is avoidable i mean that's the other way of also looking at it so you can wear what you like with confidence with happiness but without seeking attraction and attention from others that's the more focused point for me at least om shanti all right let's have a few other brothers and sisters share is anyone else who would like to om shanti can i yes 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 so yeah. maran bhai this is okay good morning all of you 
this is one more thing whatever discussion is going on this is uh, we all are peaceful souls bring one to peace in and love all over the world but this dresses today's fashion whatever it is it's it's changing the thoughts of the each and every person they also their feelings also changing so that also i feel that that also one type of disservice we are doing we all are brahman baba tells we are all brahman souls so we have to be in that feelings that i don't each and every action has to be like that we want to don't want to do any disservice so that uh, we the whatever baba shrimat is there as per that if we move the then the service will be there as sister told it is also like a this service thank you om shanti thank you brother yes renu ben would you like to share anything sujata ben om shanti uh regarding uh, the nine jewels what baba has mentioned uh, i feel or it's my perception that in satyuga whatever the jewel the jewelry they wear they are the symbolic represent of the nine jewels what baba has uh, mentioned or uh, we can say that the qualities or the virtues representing the nine virtues of the soul it's my uh, perception maybe i'm i don't know how to express it no we can I'm, i'm getting yeah yeah <laughs> because uh, each and every organ uh, if we see the jewelry right from head to toe there are uh, so many jewelries which we wear each one has its own scientific reason behind wearing the jewelry at right now in the kaliyuga but uh, maybe it is a symbolic represent of the nine gunas or the virtues of the soul which enhance the beauty of the soul in the satyuga thank you sister om shanti good morning bhai ji baba was talking about self respect it is so important to be seated on the seat of self respect paper tigers will come but you should not be distressed by it because the the test papers are to transform us and make us better om shanti Om Shanti. Adding on to what Renu Ben just mentioned, when we sit in the seat of self-respect, is when we can see the other soul and give the same respect to the other soul. Another point in today's modeli that Baba is speaking about is giving cooperation by being a santusht pani by being being content. Practically, what happens is. it's my likes and my dislikes that decide whom to cooperate and whom not to cooperate at what time and what not and and when should i not um this point brought to my notice that cooperation is cooperation if i the soul take a choice to cooperate somebody then come what may be in whatever way the soul behaves or treats you i stand in that commitment of the choice it is that that i have given to cooperate in all situations in non obstacles in all challenges that comes in in that relationship that's my take away from today's modeli om shanti suguna ben says self respect being seated in the seat of swaman being an embodiment of love fulfillment relish the enlightenment of soul conscious purity and enjoy completeness 
I like what she's written, relish the enlightenment of soul conscious. Thank you, sister. All right. Maybe, Raki Ben, one of the days we can have uh, a session happening on nine jewels. Let's create that. Sure. Yeah. All right, Mami Ben. Can you put on the music? We'll meditate for yes. a couple of minutes. Yeah. Today is the start of the week. We start this week with our hearts filled with gratitude. Gratitude for our Supreme Father giving us that comfort, that warmth of always being by our side. As this father who's telling us, challenges will come. But don't worry, child. I'm there with you. And if you keep holding my hand, I promise you that we shall go together. satisfying, fulfilling, and be a godly service of being a source to have each soul around you. Stand in an experience of content, in an experience of acceptance, in an experience of being understood. This grace no one else can provide except for you and me. We are who we are because we have our Supreme Father with us. Let's start the week with each moment of being stable in the seat of self-respect. And when you stand and you're seated in the seat of self-respect, nothing and no one has the power to shake you. Bit by bit, inch by inch, every moment, 
we are only elevating and becoming babsam let's start the stream with that satisfaction with that aura with that grace and with that gratitude each and every soul is lovely why because i am lovely and i see the good and only the good in anyone and everyone thank you baba for choosing me making me a part of you part of this divine family thank you oh shanti om shanti om shanti om shanti have a nice day all right see you all tomorrow morning at 5:30 Thank you family. Om Shanti.